All right, what's going on, everybody? You're listening and watching another episode of the Music Mastery Podcast with your host, Lizzy the Gifted. I'm very excited to be on here. We're doing the Instagram Live. We got the secondary phone. Film the video for YouTube. Shout out to YouTube. Not recording on the mic today. I want to try to see if I can just do it like this. So, guys, what we're going to talk about today is what do you want to build first? Should you build an audience first? Should you get a lot of eyes on you? Should you get a lot of attention on you? Or should you try to build your funnel first? Okay, so we're going to talk about it. There's a lot of different schools of thought. I'm going to say my personal opinion of this, but I want to just kind of talk about both. What is your audience? What is your funnel, your offer, your business, your pricing, your products, all that? And talk about where I think you should personally go, where I'm trying to go and what I've done. So look, a lot of people care a lot about building an audience. Okay. Instagram followers, YouTube subscribers, and all of that of the sort. Um, because, you know, it's cool. It's cool when you put out content or you go live on Instagram like I am now and people watch you and it's cool to get that attention, right? It, first of all, it feels good, right? Let's all just be honest. We get that shot of dopamine where we're like, oh, cool, people like watch us and we think that's cool and we love the fact that, you know, people are on us right now. But, but... I will say this, it's a lot of vanity metrics. I'm not saying it's not important to build an audience. It is, you do need to build an audience. No question about it, you've got to build an audience. But you gotta think from a bigger perspective, what are we really doing? Do you really want to just have hella Instagram followers? I think that most of us, comment below if I'm wrong, I think most of us want to make money. Like I think most of us wanna earn money with our passions. That's why we're building an audience. Pause due to poor connection, what the heck? Okay, we're back. Um, I think most of us wanna build an audience because we wanna make money. Well, so how do you make money, right? How do you do it? Y you have a funnel, and, and, and a funnel is a technique. Uh, and I'm not here trying to sell you a certain funnel service, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just talking about the concept of what is a funnel. Like, what is that? Like, a funnel is basically you taking somebody from one step to the other. And I don't want to get too deep into, like, what is a funnel. But, like, let's just think of it as, like, our product, services, and stuff we sell. So, when it comes to an audience, an audience, you're going to build an audience using content, using networking, right? You're going you're gonna to throw stuff on Instagram, YouTube, all that. That's how you build your audience. A funnel is how you get sales, right? That's how you actually build, like, a business, Right? It's a tool that you use to build a business. So when it comes to thinking about like which one should you do first, I will be honest with you, like when it comes to like clients of mine that hire me for coaching them and like mentoring them, I tell them to build your products and services and get that first. The reason is because building an audience, it takes a lot of work, right? And I'm not saying you shouldn't try to build an audience, but a lot of people try to build an audience for what? For nothing. Like people are just building an audience just to build an audience, right? The other problem is that we're building an audience on rented land, right? I don't know if you've ever heard the saying like, there's a saying out there, don't build your house on rented land. What that means is like social media is rented land. Social media is rented. You don't own that space. You don't own your Instagram following. You don't own your Facebook fans. You don't own your YouTube subscribers. You own an email list though, right? You own that. So when it comes to thinking about, okay, well, should I start trying to make hella content or should I try to build an email list first? Absolutely, I think you should build an email list. This is only my opinion. Other people have different opinions, but I personally think you should be trying to build your email list first. That's way more important. That's way more important because you can take that email list and you can do so much more with that. You can communicate to your email list better. There's not as many features. Like on Instagram, you can do lives, feeds, stories, reels. On YouTube, we've got videos. So you're thinking, well, there's more features, there's more ways to communicate on social media. But they're not as reliable. Because anytime Mark Zuckerberg wants to just change the algorithm, he will. Right? Anytime somebody wants to do something different with the algorithms, they will. So that's why having an email list is more important because nobody's gonna change the algorithm of emails. You own that email list. You can communicate to them whenever, however you want. Um, as long as you're obviously not spamming them and you're not using the information, you're not, you're not abusing that, right? Which you gotta be careful of, but it's much easier. 
So the first thing you should be trying to do is figure out what are you selling people? Because we are, we're all trying to sell something, we're all trying to monetize. What are you trying to monetize? What can you monetize? I actually have a podcast episode where you can go back and look that up. Um, I think it's like three ways to monetize your brand or something like that. Go check that episode out, Music Mastery Podcast, if you wanna go see it. Uh, if you're on YouTube right now, you can go check the uh, link in the description. If you're on IG Live, go on link in my bio and you can see the, uh, you can see the podcast is out there. But basically, there's, you wanna, I, I think you should start trying to think about how to monetize. I'll tell you this, because I've been building an audience for 10 years. It's not as big as I want, for sure, and I haven't always done it the right way. But I wish I could go back and be on the journey of building a business for 10 years. Because I really haven't been building a business for 10 years. I've been building myself as a person. I've been building my music catalog as a rapper. I've been building my brand. But I haven't been building a business where I have something to sell and I'm trying to figure out how to sell it to people. I wish I could have done that for the last 10 years. Sorry, live video got paused. I caught a phone call. We're good, we're back. But I wish that I could have um, been building a business for the last 10 years. Now, I'm on the journey where I'm way more, like right now within the last month or so, and then the next four weeks, I'm like, business, how do I build that? How do I sell this next thing that I'm trying to sell? I have a couple of things I'm working on. How do I sell that to people that where they're gonna get an immense amount of value and pay me? How do we do that? Then, you build an audience based on that. So now all the content you put out is going to get people interested in that product or service. Does that make sense? So for me, I sell, you know, I'm gonna be selling beats and beyond. Beats, we'll do mixing mastering, I'll do coaching, I'll do social media help for rappers and artists. But how do I get those people? Well, what kind of content can I put out to help those people? I do a podcast every day where I talk about stuff like this where people think it's interesting. I am gonna start doing infographics. I'm gonna start doing more videos of me making beats so that people can see the beat and be like, ooh, that beat's fire. I like the way he made it. Now I'm gonna be like, hey, do you want this beat? Go here. Now I'm getting people into my funnel. See what I'm saying? See what I'm doing there? So the point of it all is you're building something for something else like you're not just building an audience to have an audience because having that audience is great but if Instagram owns it and that's your entire and it's all that work you put all your eggs into building that one thing your Instagram following you could get that taken away whenever you want it can be stripped away from you the algorithm could change and it could mess everything up but if you're working like for me personally if I lost my Instagram following it would not end my life because I have an email list right I'm building an email list I know how to build an email list without an Instagram account See what I'm saying there? Well, you do need an Instagram account to run Instagram ads, but that's how you do it, you're doing it. So if I lost my Instagram account, yeah, it would suck, but at the same time, in my head, I know who's following me that I really want to follow me. I could just reach back out to them with a new account and just start over, I wouldn't mind. But I have an email list. That's why I don't freak out if I lose my YouTube or my Instagram, it's like whatever, I have an email list, so it doesn't matter. So my opinion is that you should be trying to build your products and services and your business aspect first. And by the way, don't take hella time thinking, well, I don't know what I wanna do, I have to think about it. No, bro, sit your ass down, take out your notebook and write. Sit down and write down some ideas. Like, it's not that hard, sit down and write some ideas. Here's the deal, if you wanna learn more about this stuff, I don't have a free training, I don't have a webinar. Here's what you need to do. If you wanna learn more about how to build a your products and services and like what you should do, you should hit me up and ask if I can coach you because I'm currently coaching people on it and they're getting a lot of value out of it, right? Um, so I think you should hit me up for that. You could DM me on Instagram. You could you could comment below on YouTube. If you're on my podcast, I would go to Instagram at Lazy the Gifted. Hit me up. Ask for some help because I can help you with that kind of stuff. I could throw so many different ideas at you and I offer coaching as something that I think is bringing a lot of value to other people. If you want to do it. If not, I don't really care. You can just listen to all my free content. You'll probably get some ideas from there, all right? So guys, that's all I've got for the show. If you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're on YouTube, right? Subscribe, um, like the video, and of course, subscribe to the podcast. If you're on the podcast, go to YouTube, go to Instagram, and obviously leave a rating, leave a review. You guys know all the stuff to do. Share the pod. Let's get some more people going on this stuff. Um, and I'm super excited to continue to grow. Remember, we do a brand new podcast episode every single day. So if you're on YouTube or you're on Instagram Live, I'm not doing IG Live and YouTube every day. I am doing the pod every day. So if you want to hear more about this kind of stuff, go subscribe to the podcast. I'm there every single day putting out a brand new episode, all right? Guys, 
Thank you so much for listening, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Peace.